Environment and Climate Change Canada funds a partnership with the Communist Party of China to the tune of $1.6 million per year. When you are paying more for gas at the pump because of Trudeau's carbon taxes, this is what some of your money goes to support. Today, I'll show you the exclusive access to information documents to prove it. Do you know what the China Council is? Many people don't, but it's a partnership with Justin Trudeau's favorite dictatorship. Remember this? There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um, because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime and say, we need to go green as fast as we need to start you know, investing in solar. It's not really a partnership, though, if we are paying for the China Council. Let me tell you what this thing is so you can understand just how sinister it is and how gross it is that Canadian taxes are going to support this panel of communists and their Western enablers. Back in 2018, we noticed former Minister of Environment and Climate Change Catherine McKenna was busy tweeting as she loves to do, but she was bragging about her involvement in something called the China Council. She said, always great seeing Minister Xi Zhenhua, my co-chair for the China Council executive meeting and Art Hansen. The China Council had an incredibly productive discussion on taking climate action and how the circular economy can beat plastic pollution. Now, at first blush, it would be easy to think that McKenna was tweeting about a Canadian-Chinese trade association called the China Council, which is like a chamber of commerce organization, and it has prominent Canadian businessmen on it, as well as politicians on its board. But that's not the China Council Catherine McKenna went to, that she was co-chairing. She went to the China Council for International Cooperation on Environment and Development instead. It's part of the Chinese government. In other words, Catherine McKenna was co-chairing an agency set up by the Communist Party of China to promote China's economic and environmental interests, not Canada's. What's a five-year plan among friends, even if one of those friends is a genocide state? You know, as long as it goes to promote green initiatives. But it's not bad enough that Canada is part of this panel with the kidnapping, Hong Kong crushing, concentration camp having genocide heirs in the Communist Party of China. We're paying for it all. Yes, the Canadian public is paying for this gang, even though China is the largest or second largest economy in the world, depending on the day and how you measure the size of the economy. And I can tell you this for true. Look at this. I can tell you for sure this dollar amount. It's here on page two of these exclusive access to information documents from 2017 to 2022. A total of eight million twelve thousand four hundred dollars was transferred to the Chinese Communist government in annual installments of $1.602 million. Now, all of this was happening while China held two Canadian hostages, Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig, who were abducted in response to the arrest of a Huawei executive accused of crimes on an American warrant at the Vancouver airport. This funding was changing hands as the Canadian government was arguing with the opposition about declaring the treatment of Uyghurs in China a genocide. Eight million bucks, $1.6 million annually. That's the dollar figure. That's what it costs to keep a favorite dictatorship. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreid. The cost of maintaining Canada's green relationship on a Chinese government agency with Justin Trudeau's favorite dictatorship, China, was made available to us through access to information filings. Those filings can be expensive, but they're also very time consuming, and we often call in research help. But we think this sort of journalism is very important and nobody else is asking these sorts of questions. To support our independent journalism, please consider making a donation to our special research fund, rebelinvestigates.com.